Do you snore when you sleep? What kind of question is this? Honey? What kind of embarrassing question? I don't know if I snore now. Nah. How am I supposed to know? You are a liar. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chidora Hakas. I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag. So I realized that when I started this my channel, I did not do a proper get to know me. I just started and went straight into my content. So I'm going to be apologizing for that. And in this video, it's not really a regular get to know me. It's more of give or take 10 facts about me that you probably did not know. So let's get right into the video. Let's get to know Dera a little better. My full name is Ohaka. Chidera Ivirin. So Ivirin is my middle name and it's not pronounced Ivrin or Ivrin like some people have made the mistake of pronouncing. It is actually pronounced Ivirin and it means blessing. So wherever I see it, at least now it's out there and everybody knows. So I can stop hearing Ivrin or whatever it is that you guys see. How old are you? Okay, so I am 22 years old. My birthday was on 25th of July and i was born in the year 2000 i'm a proper gen z oh i'm in the generation below they call us generation z okay so um i am from imo state and imo state is a state in the southeast region of nigeria it is an Igbo state so i am very much Igbo, and i am very much emo so you know the gist about emo girls now apart from the fact that we're fine when you're coming to my, make sure your bread price is plenty. Ah! Me, monkey! Marry me. <laughs> That's a joke. I grew up in Lagos. I was born in Lagos and I also grew up in Lagos. And so a lot of people are always wondering, why can't you speak Yoruba? Why can't you speak Yoruba? Even people should calm down in this country. I'm tired. I was born in Lagos, but in my side of Lagos, we don't need to speak Yoruba like that. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, you people are about to expose me. Well, two weird things I do. Hmm. Drum roll. These people want to expose me. One, I talk to myself. I try to say. And I talk to myself a lot. I mean, I talk to myself. I can be on the road and I'm talking to myself. I have conversations with myself. I just enjoy my company. I don't know why I do that. I don't know how I enjoy it, but I enjoy it. I talk to myself. I practice conversations with myself and so when I'm reading, I read aloud, so I read to myself as well. So maybe I'm a listening person or I'm a listener, I don't know, but I just know that I derive joy in talking to myself. If I want to tell you something, I can practice it with myself. So I just talk to myself a lot for some very funky reason, I do that. I shake my legs a lot. If I'm sitting in a place, I can just start shaking. Like, First of all, I maybe I do it when I'm anxious. I do it when I'm waiting for something. I do it when I'm being impatient. But I can just do it. Whilst, I even do it sometimes when I'm sleeping. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. <laughs> I do it sometimes when I'm sleeping. I just feel like my body is just always active. It just always wants to get to something. So I can't just sit down and just be looking. Like I can't. I, I find it very difficult to stay still. My mom is always trying to correct that. She's always, when I start shaking my legs, she'll just tap me. I should stop. So like I find it very, very it's it's kind of weird actually that you just see someone sit down, the person be shaking. Like someone will just literally stop and ask me, wait, are you angry? Or something. Did someone piss you off? I'm like, nobody pissed me off. And they're like, why are you shaking your legs like that? Are you rushing off to somewhere? Are you waiting for somebody? Sometimes I just shake my legs. So like those are two things that I do that I think are pretty weird. Well, I don't think I'm very good at sports. I feel like I'm always open to learn, but it just may not come natural to me because I tried running in primary school and I came third and we're four. So that was discouraging. I tried and tried and tried. Oh my God! But it just was not in me. I did a little bit of football. I did one football tournament in SS3. Um, student, SS3 students against teachers. And it was really chill. I think I played well in that match because I was, yeah, I was active in that match. Also, I swim. Yes, I swim. Swimming is a sport. How could I have forgotten? I swim and I swim pretty okay. I don't say pretty good because I've gotten rusty. I haven't really had the chance of swimming over the years. 
adulthood and all of that but i used to swim in primary school and i used to, I used to do swimming competitions and i used to come at least second place yeah, but right now i will just say okay i swim okay and that's that has to do with the fact that i had a bad dream when i was in just two that somebody drowned me in the pool and so i started getting this phobia for putting my head under water for too long you okay and when i was in ss2 I went for sea school and someone actually put my head inside the water and kept my head under under the water. I think he was joking or something, but it wasn't funny. And it just seemed like that dream that I had in GSS2 just kind of played out in SS2. And since then, I've just been kind of scared that someone is going to do that again. So I haven't been swimming much, but I used to swim really good. And then in university, I participated in volleyball, yes. In my 200 level days, I played volleyball. I wasn't good yet. I was learning to do it and I was getting better, but then I stopped because I don't really like competitions. They put too much, I, I just get very anxious. I don't like the tension that comes with it. So I just stopped playing. <laughs> okay, I speak English, obviously, uh, because I speak English in Nigeria, but then I speak Igbo partially. I speak Igbo partially. I listen more than I can speak. It's not, I, I'm not very good, but like just partially, I'm okay. And English is like my strong, English is the language I speak. French, I learned a little bit of French in primary school. I cannot really speak that one. Yoruba is just mumbo. Owa, English, just the basics. Yoruba is just one, two, three, four, five lines. And what you go, me, you go, and all this small, small stuff in Yoruba, just for me to be able to at least communicate minimally. Maybe when I go to the market or when I'm using public transport or something like that. So I just speak very little Yoruba more Igbo and most English. <coughs> Definitely, I have siblings. I have three siblings. Time for the camera. No! <laughs> so I'm the first of four children and I have three siblings, one sister and two brothers. So we're two boys, two girls. The next person after me is my brother. So I'm the first born. My brother is the second born. I have my sister who is the third born. I'm sure I've done a video we have. Sister tag, check the link somewhere around here. And then we have the last born, the baby of the house. We'll see that's the small one and he's about 10 years old i don't understand what do i study is that a question somebody said what did i study in school is that a question i in fact i'm not going to answer this question if you don't know this question I, then you need to go and watch and just pick any random video on my channel and you will be able to at least know what I study. any random video at least check one of my recent videos and you know what i study the first person that puts what I study in the comment section, get to get a shout out from me in my next video. And not just what I study, my school, my level, and what I study. Like, you cannot be a subscriber on my channel and you do not know what I study. For crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> How tall am I? As sad as it may sound, I am not one of the tall ones. Just, just, just relax. <laughs> I'm just about five, four. I like to say that I'm average height for a girl, but some other people, haters, would rather call me short, so. Shut up, that's an insult. Anyway, like, I'm shy 5'4". <laughs> okay, so before, before I started, I went into medicine and all of that. I wanted to have, like, six children. Eh? Like a full house. You look it. I grew up in a full house. I grew up with my cousins, so we're a whole lot. While growing up, and that's usually nice because you have people to play with, you have your age mates you can hang out with and tell stuff to, and you're never really alone if your parents are not around. So I really liked the whole concept of growing, of having a full house because when they grow up, there'll be a lot of people in the house. But when I started doing medicine, especially when I did um, obstetrics and gynecology elective posting in Abuja, <laughs> hey hey hey, and I saw what women go through during pregnancy and childbirth, I shut it down from six. It's like we'll just do two. Then maybe if I want more children, I can always go and adopt. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll just do two kids from me and then I'll adopt the remaining. Please. I cannot die my I can't keep myself. Do you snore when you sleep? What kind of question is this out there? What kind of embarrassing question? <laughs> I don't know if I snore now. How am I supposed to know? You are a liar. I don't know, I beg. This question is so hard. So guys, those are 12 facts about me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a thing or two about me. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get updates each time I post. Till next time, guys. 
Bye. Uh, 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 uh.